Welcome back to a new video. Today's video will be talking about uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild. As you can see, I have the trailer of the Zelda up on the screen. And I'm going to be talking about Zelda while I play Zelda. Now, I cannot really um, present my screen, even though I know how to do it. I'm not really. I don't know. But I could do it. But it's hard for me to do it and I don't and I don't really feel like doing it. So I'm just gonna talk about it right here. I know it sounds dumb, but it's <clears throat> what uh what I wanna do. Anyway, so um there are a lot of omedios. I don't know what they're for. I don't know where you get them, but if y'all know where you get them, then um, DM me or just comment down below in the video. Anyway, so I'm gonna talk about the, about the Zelda Breath of the Wild, you know. So, a bit of a Breath of the Wild. You spawn in an area. Oh wait, okay, so I'm gonna talk about Zelda the whole thing. So like what you do, what you what you kind of want to do, and what you can do. So, Zelda is a Breath of the Wild game. It is a solo player. It is a. It is a. It, 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 it is a solo player player game. You spawn in an area where you waited for one hundred years after you have been wounded in battle a hundred years ago. A beast called Ganon rises from a castle called Hypo Castle. The castle contains Ganon. Ganon is an evil beast that you need to defeat. Now Ganon spreads his um, his evilness all over the land. So all the divine beasts, aka his guardians, are now protecting Ganon at his castle. Which is really bad because there are four divine beasts. One is an elephant, one is a lizard, one is a uh, camel, and one is a eagle. The names of the divine beast uh, owners for the lizard, it's called Durux, I think. And we have Navalis, that is the owner of the bird, and Durux uh, is owner of the lizard. Mifa is owner of the elephant, and Arbrosa is owner of the um um what do you call it? camel. So, what do those divine bees do? Each of them serve a purpose. Each purpose is a different thing. For example, Mipha heals you. Whenever you lose your health, she heals you back to full and gives you an extra five hearts. The Ravali, he, if you hold down a certain key, he will launch you up in the air and you can glide. With Darux, you can use your shield and you will have a little bubble around you. A Brosa has a whenever you want to attack an enemy if you hold down a specific key a lightning area will go around and then you'll be able to shock all enemies around you now where can you find these uh beautiful divine beasts mifa is located in the water area basically in the water zone she is found on the top right of the map Navali is found on the top right of the map and behind of the cold weather. Darux is found in the multi lava. And that is also on the top right. Uh, Abrosa is found on the bottom left, the desert biome. Each of them are in their own biomes. Well, let's talk about more about Zelda. How do you beat the game? Beating the game is easy. You start in the open world to learn about Zelda. You start in the starting zone. The starting zone is an area where you can start and you can, you know, get used to the game by uh, eliminating enemies, gaming stuff, doing shrines, and basically exploring the game. After you explore, there's going to be the Hyrule Master. Now, I can't tell you what it looks like, those will be spoilers, but. Somewhere there is a mysterious man that helps you complete the quest. He will give you an item that will help you get off the ending island. And how do you fully beat the game? Well, 
there's a little thing called shrines. The more shrines you get, the more spirit orb you acquire. Now, uh, what do shrines do? They give you a thing called spirit orbs. Plus, they give you the ability to, you know, <coughs> um, get more health and stamina. Before I continue on, I want to tell you how you get hearts and stamina. Because in this game, you have to get hearts and you have to get stamina to defeat the big boss called Ganon. Now, how do you defeat him? Well, it's gonna be hard. Each the, each shrine has your own difficulty, so you have to complete it whatever the shrine does. Some shrines are easy, or some 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 shrines are not. When you have a total of four spirit orbs, you can go to an area where there's an angel. It, they will be glowing all around. If you want to go pray to the angel, and you have exactly four spirit orbs, you can go there and you can finally get a heart or a stamina. You can get one heart for four, um, uh, one heart for four um, spirit orbs, and four spirit orbs for a quarter of a stamina. Now, once you acquire a lot of stamina and a lot of hearts, you can go pull out the master storm. And back 100 years ago, when Link was injured and he had to be transported to the one to the cave, Zelda, the the queen, was transported to the an area called the Unknown Forest. That's what I like to call it, but it's really called the Great Hyrule For the Great Hyrule Forest. Zelda goes there to go store Link's sword away. The reason why she does this is for the Master Sword to regain its power while people are guarding it. The forest is deep and you could get lost. If you get lost, you're not going to make it out. So now Link has to gain hearts to pull his sword back out. Now how do you beat the game? Now let's continue with that. You want to collect hearts and stamina to withstand the boss's attacks. The boss has a lot of attacks. You also want to acquire all the divine beasts to help you overpower Ganon. Because they will do half his size, which is really nice. But how do you kill him? Well, you're going to want to go on Hyrule Castle. So, when you go on Hyrule Castle, you'll be able to uh, go somewhere and defeat Ganon. After you defeat Ganon, the game will end but you can still play the game and explore more. So, you beat the game. Congratulations. What do you do now? Well, there's only a couple things you can do. One, you can explore the map and keep on exploring until you fully explore the map. What you could also do is you could, you know, like, you could keep on defeating enemies and getting better and better. Absolutely. Or, you can go walk and you can just, uh, you can restart a game. If you want to do new paths and new everything, you can restart the game. So, after that's all done, you're ready to go. So, now that you have fully completed the game, let's talk about, let's talk a bit about Zelda Breath of the Wild. So, Zelda. Zelda is a solo player game. You wanna go defeat Ganon, who is in a castle, You're locked Zelda. away. I know, but I'm gonna say it again. Zelda is the person who's supposed to help with all the divine beasts. Ganon releases his weak uh, badness into the sky. It hits all four divine beasts. You capture the divine beast and you go defeat Ganon. Now, I'm gonna give y'all help and tips of how to beat him easily. One. I would rather you start exploring first. Get all the towers that towers give you the ability to go look and gives you if you look at your map, what towers do is they give you they give you basically a chunk of the map. So the area that the tower is located in, they'll give you that specific area. Now another fact that's pretty good is you should get at least all the shrines to gain health and stamina, which is going to be really helpful for defeating Ganon. Another thing is, you might not want to get armor right away, because it's not going to be... You're, it's going to be useful, but when you start getting used to Zelda, you should start getting armor, because that's the time when you should 
unless if it's armored that goes on along with the quest line or you need to enter in certain places or survive in certain places or do certain things but honestly that's just my opinion another thing you could do is another tip is each divine beast has their own source and there is a boss there's gonna be like a mini boss you have to defeat in order to you will conquer the divine beasts after you have conquered the divine beast you shall now be able to you shall now be able to you know be